Wizard here, uh, in the cave, like always, right? No gloves, no golf shots. It's, uh, oh, what is it? It's April 20th. It's Monday, April 20th at 8.58 in the morning. Uh, it's kind of a sad day, but a happy day. Uh, sad because it looks like Wizard's sending out his GC2. Happy because someone else can benefit and use it. His GC2 has just been a, an amazing device. So, since Wizard is a whiz at some things, he's not a whiz at technology, and, and he thought uh, if, uh, if Tim or anybody else that needs help uh, getting the, the uh, GC2 to run with his TGC program, uh, he, would, he would try to piece together what he did and maybe some, um, maybe some tricks that, that he's used in the past when he, when he first set it up to get it to work. Because it can get a little frustrating. Of course, if you're getting a GC2 and you got TGC, and, or maybe you're converting from SkyTrack or whatever, but you got to get a hold of Protein, you've got to uh, get a new pass key uh, for your GC2, which would be a Protein number, not a SkyTrack number. But you can transfer your, uh, your SkyTrack TGC over for a small fee. Uh, once you've got that with the GC2, you need to download the Protein Golf interface and the GSX. And I've, um, I've deleted my uh, GC2, so I'm going to try to do this from scratch and, and make a video of it. So uh, first thing you got to do is, you know, turn your GC2 on. And then the bottom right, you can see down here, hit this arrow, I can hit Bluetooth. And under here, you'll see where it says uh, Show Devices. And of course, it would normally show up in here, but like I said, I've already deleted it. So let's add Bluetooth device. Oh, and on top of that, I forgot, before you do this, make sure you've got your ASUS dongle already hooked up. Uh, and I've got an extension wire bringing my dongle to within a foot of my GC2 just to make sure I've got a real stable Bluetooth connection. Uh, when I hit my perfect shots, I don't like to have to hit them twice in a row. Let's see. So anyway, we've got Bluetooth. Let's add Bluetooth device. And I can't remember if I did under Bluetooth or if I did everything else. Let's start with, let's just hit Bluetooth. There it is. So there's the 11, 173. It shows the number. So we hit connect, and I believe I have to add a number two here, like a code, but I think it tells me what to enter. Press connect if the pin on the Foresight GC2 matches this one. I assume it does. So I just hit connect. And it says your device is ready to go. So now if you look down here, there's my Foresight GC2 paired. From here, we could go to the GSX and hook it up, but I'm going to take you somewhere else real quick, uh, just to make sure there's, you know, we troubleshoot some stuff in case you have trouble, trouble with the connection. And boy, did I when I first got it. Um, so let's close this down. I'm going to take you somewhere else. So forget everything else at this point, but go down to the bottom left box and hit, and then put in services. So we got services here, and you're going to find Bluetooth services right here. Right click it, hit properties, and you want to make sure that says startup is automatic. So if it was something else, manual or, or disabled, um, or automatic delayed start, make sure it's automatic and then you hit apply. And in another spot, let's see if I go to device manager. So if you go into device manager, you can see your Bluetooth, under the Bluetooth you can see your de devices. And you can see my U ASUS uh, USB is already there. The Qualcomm here, 
That's the internal Bluetooth to my computer. You want to make sure that's off. So see it says enable. You're gonna if you have that, you want to hit disable. So you want to disable that. And make sure your SUS is working. I think if you right click the ASUS and hit properties, say advanced driver, I thought there was something in here too. I don't see it. Human interface device. Let's see what this property is. Uh, oh well, never mind. It seems like there are somewhere in the computer too. If you have problems, you can go and find a power management, and, and you make sure that. Uh, it doesn't allow the PC to turn off the power. Uh, you don't want the power saving on it. I'm not sure where that is. You can probably Google it, and, or somebody will be able to tell you. But anyway, those are a couple things that I I always check if things uh, go haywire. I've had I've had uh, w uh, Windows updates that have jacked my stuff up and turned my um, internal uh, Bluetooth back on, and I've had to go in there and turn that off. Uh, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. So anyway. Uh, when you go to open your stuff, I always hit Pro T Golf Interface first. Then we have GSX. If you go to Pro T, this is your slider. You can see I've got my 5% on my driver, and everything else is the same. But uh, if you're if your ceiling heights limit your ability to swing a driver, or you're only stuck with three wood or hybrid or whatever, you're allowed in TGC to add five percent to the carry. Uh, actually, you can adjust any one of these sliders by five percent, um, or yeah. So anyway, people get all haywire about that, but uh, it's in the rules. You can use the rules to your advantage. Uh, if people decide not to, that's that's their choice. Um, anyway, you go to status, and here you are, not connected. Uh, if you hit the button to off, it's a little delayed, this thing, but you can see that it connected. So we would be good to go. Now, in order to set this up, let's take it back to off. Settings. Yeah, if you go to settings, this is where you got to set stuff up. So you can see my IP address is 1.12700.0.01. And everything says connect uh, generic with a serial Pro T Golf interface. The trick is making sure you got the COM port right. And it's got to match the outgoing COM port. And mine is on a 4. So let's go look at that, and, and I'll show you where you can find out what that needs to be. If that's not matching um, your computer uh, outgoing port, then it will not connect. And what will happen is, when you go to hit connect, it will connect here, but it won't connect on the input. So if you're getting a, uh, where it doesn't connect on the input, make sure you've got your COM4 right. I think there's one other thing on here too. Under TGC, you need to have used the club, golf club. To this comm thing. So if we're, we're not connecting, go to your Bluetooth. And I think it was show Bluetooth settings. Yeah, go to show Bluetooth settings where we were before. And then over on the right it says more Bluetooth options. And here I've got a, allow Bluetooth device to find the PC. Alert me when Bluetooth device wants to connect. I've got that on. I have all these things checkmarked, I guess. 
But at the top, you see it says COM ports. And if you look here, it says Foresight Outgoing 4. That's where you get it, right there. So you go to your Bluetooth, you go over on the right, it says more Bluetooth options. Up at the top, COM ports. Outgoing is number 4. That's where you match it up. So just some of the things to work through just to make sure you're all up and going. The other th cool thing is on setting, or yeah, on uh, Pro-T, this slide or the carry adjustments, let's say you got somebody in that can't hit it very far and you want to play a long course and make it fair. You could, use, uh, you could use driver and boost it up to whatever percent you want as long as it's not tournament play and, and make the course playable for them. You have to remember not to hit your driver with it boosted up, but that's a, it's actually cool. I've used it with my dad before. Very nice. So you hit on, it's connected. Now the other way to connect, this brilliant PC guy from out west, Chad Goff. I don't use it, but you don't have to do all that stuff with this one. Where is it? I think it's this one. If you open it, you'll see it sitting here thinking, doing some work. It says select, and it's already found the 11173. You connect. Do you want this app to make changes? I guess so. I don't know. So you can see now it says Pro-T interface is a green box and GC2 is a green box. So it already connected for you. And up here you can see it says connected. I don't know. I don't think I'd close them. I'd probably just minimize them. I'm not sure how that works. But if you have trouble with the other method, MT Hun or Chad Goff can probably get you that application. Anyhow, um, hopefully that's beneficial to somebody. Once you got it all connected, then certainly you go into your TGC simulator console. Start game. When it's loading TG 2019 like this, you want to make sure you, you keep clicking your button to get through this so that it doesn't sit in these pages for um, more than a minute and a half according to Metallo Wedge or else you lose your clothes and you have to go through one of my other YouTube videos to find a way to save your attire. So when it's in here, just make sure you click through it. Don't, don't sit in here. Just enter. Don't sit on that page for long. You get in here and there you go, wizards on fire. What else we got? Edit golfer appearance. Clothing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's my so my casual wears the fire right now. Then I got first round, second round's my fire suit. Casual, third round, clowny on fourth round. Anyway, that's what I've got for you. Sorry, I got sidetracked with my attire. Peace out, brothers. Hope this video helped you out. I'm sure Table Cat will give me a thumbs down, though. Have a good one. Enjoy, Tim. Congrats.